Wilson debate is popping. I think he wants to say something. No. <laughs> the only thing I noticed is that he said he treats us like pets. And well, that's like, a biography. Fictional character. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not not real! <laughs> right. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> Which character from the DC and Marvel Universe would you like to see in the Eternal movie? Who do you think should play that character? Um. Since I've read that like nine times, did anyone think of anything wrong for me? No, you never got past the first word sentence. <laughs> um, actually, this is more along the lines of a project that was up in the air and I point in that squashed, but I actually didn't see it. But they were going to do an Iron Fist with Ray Park. Oh, okay. That'd be I cool. really wanted to see that. Because I, I don't the guy who did Darth Maul, physically, he, he's there. Yeah. <laughs> we know we can handle that. <laughs> So I was really curious about what they were going to do with that, and partially because I was also interested in if they were going to introduce the, the Luke Cage character. Because mm. if they did that, I thought it would have been a really good twist. Mm. Um, and I would have liked to have seen uh, what's called um, Ray Park as an uh, Iron Fist, and Luke Cage actually was, I really want to see uh, what's called Ray Reigns. <laughs> Just a Marcellus Wallace type of <laughs> Anyone else? I got a mouthful of pizza, so I can't really talk. I like that concept. You know, have, you know, taking characters that aren't really the mainstream characters and giving them a chance. Mm -hmm. uh, Cloak and Dagger. Mm -hmm. You know, they have enough interesting history and story itself that it might actually work as a movie. Um, heck, you can even use it and make it like a, a WB-like show, where you know since they're already are teenagers, and you could have that whole. These look more on Channel 9, I think. <laughs> now that, that they're together now. Uh, are they? No, they're together. So even better. Is that, is that because uh, Coke is black? <laughs> no, no, I think <laughs> that they, they would take more chances of ha doing more urban stories. Okay. You know, because it, it, it was like, you know, a New York City, but, you know, that Hell's Kitchen kind of area that would work with well, that. Well, the original story from what I recall was basically there were two runaways who met up in Manhattan then got kidnapped and had experimental drugs uh, given to them, mm -hmm. and that unleashed their powers. And Dagger needed, didn't need Cloak, but Cloak needed Dagger's light to feed him. So, right, so, or he would have to feed on people. Right, which caused very fucking effects. Yeah. They basically made it seem like Cloak's power, when you were done with it, was kind of getting the shape from the always called withdrawal. Mm -hmm. Right. Which is kind of fucked up, because basically you say that. <laughs> the black guy's a junkie. No, the black guy's a <laughs> but The black guy's turning you into a junkie. Yeah. No, I thought he was cleaning up people. Like he was taking. He was cleaning them up, but for a little while, I thought you felt like you were going through the shakes. Right. You, you, when you come out of there, you felt like you just came out of uh, what's called uh, coming out off withdrawal or something like that. So you had to have shakes, cold and stuff like that. Was the impression that you always got. And I always thought that those were the only characters that were really uh, street level characters. You know, dealing with the day to day problems. You have enough superheroes to deal with the galactic problems and stuff like that, but you know, Spider-Man, Daredevil to an extent, you know, all dealt with street crime, you know, people problems, so to speak. So I thought that they would just be interested in themselves, whether it be, be a movie or even an ongoing TV series. Uh, who would you want to see playing? Um, I'm not too sure. Because of the age, you might have to get nobodies to do them. Because a lot of the current young actors aren't really all that young anymore. So they all, you know, are, are, are playing more bigger roles. So by the time it got cast, whoever I would have cast, we would be too old. It's dirty. <laughs> we would be too old to do that. Um, I would, well, the first thing that came to mind was actually a speedball. I would have loved to see a speedball movie, you know, just the special effects alone of him bouncing off the buildings and everything like that. I thought would be great. Um, but, I think that's great. But another idea that came to me was um, Power Pack. Yeah. Um, it's the same problem I have with, with uh, he said about the actors who do cast. I mean, Pop Pack is a bunch of like kids, you know, so by the time you get into I mean, anyone, I don't fucking care. Um, I can't think of any really good actors right now. But I just, Speedball Power Pack, I think either one could, would be an interesting. I think Speedball, because he is that high school, smart ass teenager, <coughs> um, going through the whole like personal crisis of like whatever, 
and also he's got these cool powers, and he also has to deal with that crisis that he basically can't control his ability. I mean, when the comic first came out and started, he had his phobia of getting too close to anyone because he was afraid his power would start to go up, and he didn't know how to control it. Um, so I think it would be a cool, a great um, comic to work with, uh, um, movie to work with. And you even got that internal strife that he has with like trying not to get too close. I mean, he's perfect age. He's 16, and he can't even touch a girl or anything like that because he's afraid of what would happen. The power shooting up and stuff like that. Um, and the power back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> have a I have a quick question for you, though. Um, as far as uh, Speedball, would you want him to do Speedball? Because they're almost like two different characters. Speedball from his old series, where he was in Connecticut in the suburbia setting. Or uh, New Warriors. New Warriors, when he was in Manhattan. Li Live in, I think, like in the village or something like that. Um, to urban cities. You know what I would like, actually? Honestly, I, would, also, I would like it. I would like the progression, actually. I would like him to start in Connecticut, being that suburbia kid, and basically by the end of the, if it's a movie or TV show, however, or a series of movies, he basically is that East Village kid who starts to learn how to use his powers like that. Because I mean, by the end of New Booker, his speedball was really a powerful mutant. I mean, I think. Um, he could go. He wasn't mutant, but I, don't know. I mean, a powerful uh, superhero. Super, super, super. I mean, he could go toe to toe with so many uh, high level things. When he went up against uh, when he went up against Fantastic Four, um, what was it? Mister Fantastic tried to contain him, yeah. and people was like, "I don't know what's going on." And like almost ripped right through Mister Fantastic, you know. And I think that when you play up on his powers and get to like a. a Okay, well, so I think it'd be, he'd be a really good superhero. Well, they also at one point alluded to the fact that his his powers also affect space and time. Yeah. Um, that was one, something that was going on with uh, time traveling storyline, but it, it was an interesting concept. I had to play up more, it might have played, got somewhere, but. I mean, I, I like that concept, but at the same time, I fucking hate the stories that deal with time travel because then I feel like I'm doing a history report and trying to keep track of where everyone is in time. I'm like, fuck it, you know? I think it definitely work <laughs> as like one of those TV movies. Right. You know, like every few every few months they have another segment kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. I did just see the cat bouncing around between yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah. Oh my god, that was one of the funniest issues like when he was being tied up and the cat was being tied up also <laughs> and like the cat starts choking and people was like, What'd you do to my cat? <laughs> and the cat starts honking off a fur ball and then fucking knocks out the guy's like, I've been saved by cat's bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um JB? Um, comic book character. Uh, I'd say I'd like to see a Gambit movie, partially because he hasn't been in any of the X Men movies. But um, you know, you could there's stuff you can they could write a decent story about a thief who has powers. Which movie have you seen? It's called Hard Target. It's just called that. Look, in my opinion, that was where the camera came from. He does splits all the time. <laughs> Um, I guess to play him, I would cast, uh... Only Van Damme. Van Damme. No! No! I guarantee it. Uh, I would actually cast, uh, Jason Statham from the Transporter. Physically, body-wise, I can see that. Face-wise, yeah, yeah. it doesn't go for me. The whole ball So what? The hair? <laughs> Give the man a wig. Hold on, this, this is like the equivalent of Gambit's fucking hair, alright? It defies gravity. This shit it does. does. Alright? Really? Have you ever it's seen Mount Loft? It is. <laughs> it's quite. Yeah. So. I, I'm just saying who I guess. I think I'd, I'd rather see Jake, the transporter, as uh, the villain in that type of movie than him himself. But hey, for some reason, Hollywood came to you and asked you to cast it. <laughs> that's who you want, that's who you got. Nobody can see that. <laughs> oh, sure. Jake? I want to see a Blue Beetle Booster Gold Buddy movie. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bravo. JP obviously has never read Blue Beetle. Mr. Goldstein. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would do a lot to show people that there is more to the genre than just yeah. Yeah. good guys beating up on bad guys. Uh, there is some comedy in here, and it's very good comedy often. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we haven't really seen many buddy movies. Uh, the Batman Robin doesn't really fit. Yeah, that's, that's a different kind of type of buddy movie, all right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that I kind of murder. Heard, I heard a rumor that they were doing a Power Man Iron Fist buddy movie, like set in the 70s. Yeah, to me, <laughs> it would have been awesome. That would have been I would have enjoyed worked. that. I would have enjoyed that so yeah. much. Excuse me. The reason why I, I, I wanted it to be the Iron Man, Iron Fist, right? Power Man movie, big ass bro. <laughs> 
Um, I had heard about Ray Park, and I was like, that's perfect. We just need to find someone to play Luke Cage. Who's gonna, um, at one point, they mentioned, I think, uh, Wesley Snipes, and I'm like, no, no. he's got no. He, he even talked. They even talked about him in Black Panther. I'm like, no, no, he's got one name for all of them. I like him range for that. I like him range also. Because I think Marcellus Wallace. <laughs> there's this, uh, Marcellus there's somebody, Wallace. I should just give him now. Um, do you know who Al Sparks is? Yeah, Al Sparks? Yeah, Al Sparks. The guy from, who was in Spider-Man 2 and the... Uh, yeah, the elevator. Yeah, the, the elevator. elevator. Okay. Zoltan. He wants, <laughs> Zoltan. He wants to be um, Ivers. Really? He's been trying to do it. Um, apparently he's a third degree black belt in some martial arts. I forgot. Is is yeah, yeah. He's been studying since he was like seven and stuff like that. So That's all. And when he found out about it, when he basically got celebrity status in Hollywood, Apparently he's been trying to pursue being Iron Fist because he's also a big comic book dork as well. So if you're watching this, you can join and be part of up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so um, <laughs> we're just saying thespot.com www.thespot.com. Tim is plug number one for this session. Um, it.com. <laughs> so yeah, basically he was trying to pursue um, being an Iron Fist, and I think that he could actually. Be a pretty decent Actually, player. I had to go because I didn't know he was. Because that's one of the main things I have a problem with is when they cast somebody who doesn't have the physical training mm -hmm. for playing a very physical character. Yeah. But occasionally they do, they're smart enough to take a semi athlete and then train them with martial arts, which is also, I think, mean, if you're naturally an athlete, the jump to be to study martial arts for the film, not for real life, but for the film, is not that huge a jump. Um, like some of the shows like dancers uh, and what's called like, people who are already gymnasts making them into martial arts. It's not that hard. <laughs> you are. Yeah, but a guy like Iron Fist could have like a stunt double. I mean, yes and no, not for training scenes. Don't forget, he's not wearing a mask throughout the entire time. And you'd have to introduce him. Especially if we have an 80s montage musical scene. <laughs> <laughs> montage? Yeah, if you always need them. <laughs> they have them in the whole superhero movie. Speaking of which, we could do that well. Yes. Yeah. Completely with them skipping down the dip. Yes. Mega Khan and Elrond. That would be a draw I gotta admit, I feel defeated. You came up to me. Yeah, that is definitely. Can't think I'm not very good at it. It's like Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson in Blackface? No. Blue Beetle said a blackface, it's not gonna work. <laughs> 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 Blue Beetle's not black. <laughs> oh, I'm the worst of Iron Man Iron Fist. <laughs> 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 Edit that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're stuck with that. No! As far as like casting. We'll, we'll get all that in post, don't yeah, worry yeah. about it. It's all be fixed in post. But visually seeing some, like, um, just going back to like some other characters all together. Uh, I remember we talked about the idea of having Jessica Simpson be Here's Supergirl. Here's our budget. We can do this all in public. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think uh, what's called uh, Blue Beetle and Booster Girl. I think really you'd have to look for two uh, stand-up comedians who work well together. <laughs> That's yeah. really what you're going to be looking for. And I'd like to see like cameos from other superheroes. Yeah, that's exactly how you do it. Just to make them look like fuck ups or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just <laughs> get answering the phones or the telemonitors. It's like, don't call us. We're busy right now. Oh, Superman, we got a major problem. <laughs> I'm sorry, I bet you thought I was in. I'm not in right now. Leave a message. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. Uh, Alright, um, next time? Yeah, sure. Okay. Next time.